Hello there, he's Penny today from your IM Game channel. I'm going to teach you and play with you uh, how to install the, a, a mod to play in VR Resident Evil 2, 3, 7, 8. It was released the 1st January and uh, I'm going to test with you. I have done it yet. Let's see how it is. it, it works. Okay, see my logo. After that, I'm going to do it with you. Okay, I'm back. So there is a site, website in GitHub where you can download. I'm going to give the this, uh, the link in the description. There is also a Discord server where you can uh, you can download the files. You can have all the files for here. You have the link. Okay, and here we have the files about the game. I'm going. I have already downloaded it. I have the files here, okay, and here is plain that what you need to do, you only need to extract the file that you want in, in this moment. I'm going to play Resident Evil 3, and then what you extract the, all the files inside the, the folder of the game, okay. By the way, I'm going to do an introduction, uh, only an introduction for Resident Evil 2, 3, 7, 8. And this introduction, I'm going to uh, teach you the steps, and I'm going to do this use this introduction for all the games. Okay, I'm going to do uh, uh, a a video by game, but this introduction is going to be in all the all the all the videos. So let's see. I'm going to I have here the the files of Resident Evil 3, and uh, I'm going to the folder of the game. Okay, I mean in Steam version. Uh, of the game, I'm going. I'm going. To, I'm going to double click, uh, right button of the mouse properties. Here I have the uh, the the path, uh, the way that I can find the path. Click here in in Portuguese it's procurar, but in English I think it's search, and it goes to your, the path of your game installed. You just extract the files uh, that you have in zip folder inside here. And let's see how it works, okay? And you, it's uh, it is the same steps you need to do the same steps for each game, okay? Is that even true? The three, seven, eight, okay? Okay, uh, I'm going to run the game now, but uh, I'm not going to run the game with the headset in my head, okay? Uh, the reason that uh, because you need to do some configuration in the if you have the, the VR headset in your head. It can create some uh, problems for in the configuration. Hello, I'm back. The the configuration that you need to do when you enter the game is this one first person, and you click enable here. Okay, just it. You don't need to do anything more anymore. Uh, I'm back. Uh, the one thing that I would like to say to you, if you need to do some configuration anymore, just click insert button, and you will you are going to uh, to have the menu again. Okay, let's go to the game. 